In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the only army that you're going to need in order to max out your base at Town Hall 6. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Town Hall 6 with a farming guide or an army that you can use in order to max out your base as quickly as possible. I knocked mine out in about a week and a half and I, you know, I played pretty hard on that one. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that army and we use 16 giants, 5 wall breakers, 15 wizards, clan castle troops, which we'll talk about in a second, and then also two heal spells. Now, Town Hall 6 is where you gain the heal spell, and it's very, very important when it comes to the Giants. Giants aren't very tough. I mean, they do well on their own, but with the heal spell, they can go just a little bit farther. All right, so without further ado, we're not going to hold you up too long. Let's take a look at the base. Now, this base here is a Town Hall 6, and you should be able to crush Town Hall 6s very easily with the troop levels that you have, as long as you understand funneling, the techniques of funneling and you know spell drops and stuff like that. In my clan castle, I have hog riders. Now, obviously not everybody has hog riders at their disposal. If you come to Paradox Enigma, we might be able to hook you up. But anyways, um, you can put giants in there or Valkyries or more wizards or something like that. But anyways, let's get into this attack. So we got giants are gonna go down first. And basically what we're looking for is we're gonna check the clan castle first. We're gonna use a wizard there to draw the clan castle troops and a little you know sneaky treat, trick here. I haven't seen this trick used in a while, but the healer in the clan castle with another troop to kind of disrupt. And that's kind of what was going on here. Uh, you saw how we were patient. We pulled everything out of the clan castle first and then we destroyed it with a couple of wizards. Did not dump a bunch of wizards. We only used a few to do that. All right, so if you take a look at the top of the base, you have a widespread of giants going in on multiple defenses you got giants targeting the cannon here and then you have giants targeting the the wizard tower we're gonna allow those giants to move in we drop a few like about four wizards back behind them we're not gonna drop all of them more is not better in this case we just want to drop a few and we're gonna let them move into the base now we're gonna let the defenses target and then we're gonna drop some wall breakers to open up the compartments for our giants Compartment is open, wall breaker is going to go to the next level and open up that compartment. So they're going against level uh, Town Hall 5 walls, so that was actually kind of easy for our wall breaker. And our wall breaker tried to attempt another uh, compartment there where the hog riders are at. So what I tend to do with the hog riders, if you do decide to use hog riders in this composition, is I will try to come in on a flank or on the opposite side of the base within range of the giants. That way it kind of gets some of the pressure off of my giants and allows the Giants to work. When facing off against Town Hall 7s, you really have to kind of think about this because the Town Hall 7 bases are a lot tougher than these you know, Town Hall 6s. All right, so the Giants are under a heal spell and we're gonna use our other heal spell for our Hog Riders because we really need our Hog Riders to get to the opposite side of the base since we are out of Wall Breakers. And as you notice, we're dropping a few Wizards around the base to pick off a few things in the process. Now, in this case here, we didn't necessarily need that heal spell, but we used it anyways. It's probably best just to hold on to it because this is a slightly expensive army composition with all those wizards. This army composition is kind of pricey. However, it is very good if you're trying to push up in trophies as well as stealing a lot of loot. And uh, as you can see, it's a slightly, I wouldn't say overpowered, but it's, you know, with the addition of the hog riders, it's slightly overpowering versus other Town Hall 6s. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more replay and that way you can get a better idea on the attack strategy. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna show off this Town Hall 7 attack. Now I wanna show this one because I don't wanna show all you know, 100% and I don't wanna show massive loot because you need to be aware of what's out there in the wild when you're facing off against other bases and you don't want to see everything absolutely perfect because we don't never we don't actually learn from that so uh, as you see we have a town hall 7 this is an abandoned base we have loot on the outsides of the base perfect if we had some goblins goblins would go in and get a, a lot of these collectors so we're not necessarily using goblins in this situation uh, so we're just going to move on with the army that we have all right so there's a couple of things that happen in this replay that i want you to know about and i want you to be aware of that way it's not like a surprise later on uh you have the hidden tesla at town hall 7 and the town hall 7 with the hidden tesla is slightly more powerful than town hall 6s the defenses are more powerful as you can see we do have heal spell coverage on our giants but with the level one heal spell our giants are not doing very well not a lot of change in our strategy when it comes to hitting the base we're trying to get wall breakers in to open up the base 
But there's one more addition at Town Hall 7 that I want you to be aware of, and that is the addition of the Barbarian King versus the Hog Riders. Now, the Hog Riders will not, I say again, they will not attack a Barbarian King or a Queen if they are attacking your Hog Riders. The Hog Riders are only focused on the defenses, and they will just get beat up by the Barbarian King. As you see here, even under heal spell coverage, the Barbarian King, even at level 1, will take out your Hog Riders until a certain extent or a certain point once they move out of his range, and you can see that he will go back to his previous altar location and take out our wizard. So we were able to pull off the win in this replay, but there's a couple of things that you have to be aware of when you're hitting bases. You definitely need to make sure you're checking the clan castle and trying to see if there's troops. Normally, if the, clan, the base is not in a clan, then there's more than likely not clan castle troops, but that's not always 100% true, so make sure that you ch check the clan castle. And then also be aware of the Barbarian King, and then also be aware of what you're hitting. If you're hitting a Town Hall 8 or a Town Hall 7, you're not always going to 100%. It's just not going to happen. However, you can pull off a win if you get the army down and how you're dropping the troops and where you're actually entering in. And on that note, that is going to wrap us up for today, guys. I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the content today, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and thanks for watching, guys. I don't know. I might do a robot. <laughs> it's coming! It's coming! It's coming! It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming.